So I'm, I have to tell you, I am really burned out on prep and wanting to do some long-term play mm -hmm. and it just isn't working. I'm making a hard choice. I would ordinarily not play if one of us can't play. Mm -hmm. But there's two things going on. One, we need to close this one out. Yeah, we need to close. I'm, I'm sorry to say it because I like Dark Sun. I still don't think I've quite caught just how to game master the setting. But maybe for this. But for yeah. us Character now, right? For us this, now, this yeah. may be it. Yeah. Just because we need to get kind of a new social scene and project underway, especially one that doesn't kill me. It's, uh, I mean, usually role playing is sort of my my recovery activity, mm -hmm. and the last few weeks it has not been my mm -hmm. recovery activity, yeah. and so I need that back. Yeah, just like yours, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. this needs to be a recovery activity, yeah. and we need to establish a couple of things about playing together too. We have got to play in a way that doesn't keep you, that doesn't shut me down. And you, do, you have not been able to play as much as everybody else at the table. I mean, I've been monitoring your videos, mm -hmm. and you just are not permitted to play. And I can't be like social mm -hmm. monitor, right, of, I mean, of, of how we behave. And so, um, so we just kind of need to reboot, I think, sure. um, on a lot of different levels. So that doesn't mean, however, that I'm. <laughs> Leaving the dark side. I have, well, no, I, I mean, I, of course, there's lots of games that I say, well, I'd like to get back to that. But it doesn't mean we're going to have about it. No, well, that is that. <laughs> this is the pool. <laughs> that's not up, that's not up to me. Yeah, right. yeah, that's, that's not up to me. Um, so uh, let's see here. Every time to meet tonight, no. as you can oh, see, yeah. I have been like yeah. working on my preparation, yeah, yeah. and I finally made a non player character yes. summary yeah. of our latest circumstances. And uh, and I <laughs> have a picture of all these killing burning off him. <laughs> <You know, laughs> yeah. I think, I think. I am getting back into character, mm -hmm. and Jeruk would say, "They are hot." Yeah, right. I mean, there they go. It, it, it was the what way, way to go. Right? They are, they They're... are the hottest chicks I've ever seen. So, so I think they probably, you know, insensitive language like that hurts everybody. <laughs> It is actually in my character. I, I know. I saw you it. Yeah, it. I do. I absolutely do. Well, I, these are not probably the most carefully chosen little maps yeah. I've ever done, but I quickly grabbed some things that we can use our imaginations a bit to make them a little different. This one, we're going to imagine that this is the city gate yeah. right there, even and, and just treat it that way. And then this building is what has been built up into the wall perhaps violating city ordinances a little bit in doing so mm -hmm. as the the fire shrine has sort of bulked up past its mm -hmm. its pant size mm -hmm. um and so that's what that building is the rest of these i think uh, are just sort of the ordinary activity of the gate or would be but remember i said that the temple had set up kind of a little pageant mm -hmm. of space that they were going to reenact the Glorious events of the arena. Yeah, yeah. Um, you were saying go up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And so this is this is going to be. You know, remember I said the actors were preparing. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. here, and then there are these other places where there are vendors of different kinds. Mm -hmm. You may have sadly looked at whoever was selling water. You know, as you went in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, okay, I, I want to go. <laughs> yeah. I, I have my own people selling. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you yeah. did. Okay. Oh, yes. So you oh, yes. got that's right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's that's Mr. Awesome. Matter. <laughs> so that's but that's what these little hut these little pavilions are yeah. for, is for all that sort of activity. Um and there's enough of a crowd being drawn mm -hmm. and knew about this little festival that the you can think of the place as it's not shoulder to shoulder packed, but there are plenty of people. Um and don't forget there are Templars around. Uh, mostly standing on the stones, but one or two on, uh, certainly one on the wall. 
and a certain maybe one on a corner on the rooftop. Mm -hmm. um, so women, low ranking shadow, shadow, shadow brides who uh, who are basically cops. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're they're watching you know the proceedings, probably aware that somebody up the ranks is saying, "Wait, what is that fire shrine doing? Wait a minute!" And so now they're hearing. Yes, yeah, it's now yes, yeah, so and now we have man. So that is occurring um, here. Now, what about in here would be our fire shrine? And the way I see it is that. That's what I decided to do was to interpret this. Okay. Yeah. So this is in the map, the second floor on top of this. Mm -hmm. Well, this is all courtyard. Okay. So it has high built up walls mm -hmm. for the second story of wall. So it's not really a second floor, it's okay. just open. Yeah. And um and also they are not huge stone thick walls like this. No. They are just panels no. that have been put up. Uh, to sort of hide the uh, the proceedings, <laughs> and remember we talked about the bodies or yeah. what's left of them, yeah. sort of desiccated logs that yeah. once were bodies um, are in in here um, in these whatever these little container sheds or wagons are. Um, so that's where all of the current activity is. That's the, the, the door right. where we came. Here's the, the entry. Here's the door. You, the door. There's two doors into the structure where you first mm -hmm. came in, and this was kind of the fanciest area. And then remember, you walked down a corridor, and there are the two doors. Yeah. Right. That's them right there. Mm -hmm. So I found a map that approximates mm -hmm. some things. Don't think of it as a fortress like this picture is. Uh, much more just an ordinary building. Um. And so I think that, you know, it's approximately pretty good for what we, we know. Mm -hmm. um, here, to go back out here, well, this is, a, yes, so this is a functional, but a very boring picture. So we have to remember that we are in Nibine, and there are cool demon faces and sexy carvings of all sorts. Everybody. Decorating, yeah, decorating everything. I love those well, yeah, well, that's the people. I was talking about the architecture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now to the people. Yes, we have exposed flesh, leather straps, and insect legs. Wait, leather straps. Yes, <laughs> that's right. So, um, wait, I'm uncomfortable. Like, mm, yeah, yeah like, like, these clothes are terrible. Why yeah. like, people wear these? Right. Yeah, why? So, <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> I am natural or brown is That's right. So we have uh, this, therefore, is our, our helper. Yeah. Um, and I have done a little bit of thinking. Um, just to, it's been so long, we really should recap a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I was focusing in my mind a little bit on what the higher levels of society were doing. And it's all uh, uh, based on all these events with a chakra having ascended to this high ranking position mm -hmm. and also going a little bit crazy mm -hmm. for reasons, I'm little known. dude. I'm known. <laughs> um, and then, um, then we also have kind of our, our gladiator culture our, uh, of, of what is happening in and around the arena, um, which is actually more of a political yeah. landscape for those higher level yeah. interactions than one might think. Yeah. Um, but with Christian not here, with this kind of swerve to my my sister's body drama. Um, and I also very much wanted to uh, inform you and your character that there is good information about the deaths of your family, that it, the, they know the defiler is a, quote, ally or perhaps, you know, a, a yeah. creature of house strong. Yeah, I, uh, I, Christian, I, I, Christian, yeah. yeah. 
Christian's character met him, but your character didn't really know much about that, right? Yeah. Or did you? Uh, I, 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 they, 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 who was commanded? It. commanded. Yeah. I know that yeah. someone, someone mm -hmm. called Sean did it. Yes. Um, and I, I'm going to warp us to, towards them. <laughs> I also want to emphasize, though, that the, uh, for purposes of finishing out, yeah. we'll do a little bit of information dump. That it was the Templar who was killed at the arena, Leasa, who was, uh, who was actually in charge of that stuff. Um, and her death also destabilized the big drug triangle trade that had been established. I think you, you did say something about that. Yeah. yeah. And so what I want to uh, what I want to, to say is that this little trip has been an information gathering trip through the city. Um, and that Step by step, Axel has learned more and more about these events, and so the uh, the idea that the person who actually directed the attack on your family may actually be dead, um, although the person who carried it out is not. Um, so that's relevant. Yeah, last time, last time, what um, what I didn't hear is that um, Demia is directly responsible because of Sean, the director. Yes, correct. Family. That's what he has said. Too. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 destroy the whole house. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 house, house, John, Demia, the fire controlled it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> now, that now. because that she is the captive yeah. of the house of Sean. Now, the uh. Next, or the next relevant bit of information that we're not, that unfortunately we're probably not going to be able to lay out, um, is that um, Christian's character Hans is now working to some extent with uh, Alpha Sean and may well have a negative setup toward Charlotte. But we're not, the, the, the timing was yeah, not synchronous. Yeah, they wanted him to kill me. That's right. So the timing on that's not synchronous. And yeah, so somebody's gonna kill me before that. Yeah. Um, and so well, that too. Right? And <laughs> well, I was then, kidding. You're all in bed. Shit. Um, the thing is, yes. he was trying to find out what happened to Trixie, and they yeah. they yeah. did help him some things. And, 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 and then blamed um did 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 um I forgot the name now. Kabuk. No, um, no. They've been ruth for um for, for Trix Yes, yeah. yes, they did. So yeah. Yeah. and she's yeah. ruth dead. My my husband's killed a brother. Abiyuk, Abiyuk yeah. said the, the right is the yeah. thing is that Abiyuk has no good memories of ruth <laughs> or no, Trixie, right. exactly. and is more than happy to eliminate this yeah. this problem. This little bit of informed person Abiyuk would like to have no information about his past dealings. Mm -hmm. The thing is that he put this to Hans because Hans was pretending to be Trixie's relative. Well, I've never got a clear answer on whether he was pretending or whether he was. He was pretending yeah, okay. because okay. he was actually a hunter yeah, looking hunter. behind right. headhunter right. looking for her. Okay, so, right. which would be fantastic yeah. as kind of a huge collision yeah. pileup, but we're not going to see it tonight. Yeah, so no. it, it's, uh, it was he, oh. He's right now. No, he's now sad. right in in the setup in a way that he can he can work to double oh cross whichever combination well, of people yeah, he wants. Uh, what a Cohen Brothers noir yeah. situation, <laughs> right? Sharuk like triumphs against the fire spirits and then goes and like meets meets a blade walking <laughs> out of the place or vice versa or what, right? So um, anyway, we have. Much chaos, but with all that context going on, very little of it is going to drive in here, except for um, 
Moon basically opening his mind to the network of uh, of contacts, political contacts that he maintains and always has, um, in order to put together the full picture for you and to say that that you know this will be helping you with this is going to be a big you know a big priority. Yeah. Um, so now I think we have ourselves. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and and just so you know, Kenya now not under Riaz's control and is no longer happy being used as party entertainment and has his own ideas of Kenya is um Amal? Yes. Okay. Um his own ideas of what he wants to accomplish. Um, and they aren't very coherent. So oh. um so maybe that party yeah. that has his own well, who knows, right? Who knows? The the issue here is only that that's all occurring, but it doesn't really land on us in this moment. No. So right now, we'll conclude with this and see what, where we get. Okay, we have you. I believe. I know. I know about your situation. Yeah. You actually are, are, are pretty much right in the middle. You're in the sauna. Yeah, you're in the. <laughs> You had managed to now escape start. to some extent, correct? Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was pulled out by the priest. Mm -hmm. So he pushed you in and pulled me out. Because okay. uh, I seem to be a person of importance. Ah, well, that's which is true. Right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you you had actually you're intention. you just outside. Yeah, I'm, by, I'm by the door more or less. Yeah. So I'm seeing it. And I'm and close to the, to the priest. And I, if I remember correctly, you did mention. After and stuff like that, and you had yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm fully on. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I follow person. Yeah. And and he was right <laughs> outside of the temple, right here ah. somewhere. Correct. And so I think that is where um we need to start. Let's go to you. Let's see. You and Lean are looking at this this uh preparing this theater production. With, as I mentioned, an actor putting on a bug hat, you know, to play Axel and probably getting up on another actor's <laughs> shoulders. Yeah. Right? Uh, when they have sort of stage weaponry and things like that. They have also a third yeah. actor that's wielding yeah. the new mutated. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're like free people playing me. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's all sorts of things. Now, they don't have the story right. Oh, no, but, probably, but probably on the other hand, it's it's going to be quite grand. Um and uh the 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 the, the person who will be presenting this and saying shut up everyone, we're starting, uh is now doing that, is now getting up on their on a on a like central pavilion here. It's it's street theater, theater in the round, right? Mm -hmm. So the central focus yep. is here. Um, with the crowd arranging itself however it wants mm -hmm. around it. Um, and this is normal. Um, and of course, uh, we begin with a right to you know, the fire shrine because it's sponsored by the fire shrine. And so um, uh, you know, creepily friendly people are waving you know, from in front of the fire shrine toward the crowd. <laughs> 